Hey, today we're doing a quick video. Uh, we are gonna work with Clarity Configurator and what we're gonna be doing is switching from intermittent mode to continuous mode printing. Um, this is gonna be a good tool for anybody who needs to do this in the field. Um, so we're gonna go over the basics. We're gonna go over each step, even on the PC, setting up the network configuration over ethernet. Uh, and then from there, you'll be able to do the changes in the config software, which we'll show later on the screen. But before we do that, the very first thing we're going to need to do before we can get onto this laptop and start messing with the settings in here is we need to go and we need to find out what IP settings we have. So we go to our settings button, diagnostics, control, and then communications. In here we see TCP IP. We're going to press that and it's going to tell us our setting. Now if you're, today we're using the TT1000. This is the new electric printer. If you're messing around with the older style, the pneumatic style printers, you're going to follow the same exact steps to get here. So here's a close up of our values. Our IP address is 169.254.2.1 and then our subnet 255.255.255.0. These are the ones we want to write down. These are the important values. Okay, so now that we know our IP settings, we're going to go to our laptop. Uh, we're going to go to the control panel and look for our network and sharing center once we're there. Uh, we're going to look for our Ethernet ports, which we see here on the screen. Uh, we're going to go ahead and right click and go to properties. And once we do that, we're going to have uh, our properties tab. We're going to look for IPv4. And once we find IPv4, we are going to hit properties again. Once we're in here, we're going to look for the button that says use the following IP address. And here we are going to type in the IP address from the video jet with one minor exception, 169.254.2.2, not 2.1. So we need our laptop and video jet printer to be one digit away from each other. Then we press OK. Now it's time to open up Clarity Config. Uh, once we have that, we're going to go ahead and look for a new coder. So we hit coders on the top left, select it, right click, new coder. Um, then we're going to go ahead and down on the bottom, look for the network button, type in the IP address of the video jet printer, then press apply. Uh, what will happen is we'll get a connected button and we'll come to this screen. Uh, all right, so you see there's five folders once you get in. So we have devices, imaging, operations, systems, and user interfaces. So right now we're just going to change from intermittent to continuous or continuous to intermittent. So we hit print heads, one, print information, and we're going to scroll down. And once we scroll down, we're going to find uh, some other settings like uh, print head width, maybe print head hand, right? So you can change from right to left. And here we go, print type, so continuous. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change this to intermittent, press apply, and then run back up to the top real fast and press download. Um, it's You need to be careful here to make sure you follow that exactly, like you don't go start clicking other things because for some reason, if you do, sometimes it doesn't save what you're trying to do and it will not, if it downloads, it won't download the changes you made. So now uh, we can go into some of these older other folders, um, like the imaging folder, um, down kind of about halfway, you see the start of day. Uh, once you see the start of day, that's um, like rollover times think. We have a few customers that they change over at say 8 a.m. So this is where we would come and change that for them. Um, go down to operations. Now, if you get a new PCB from us, you can go down here and perform your motor calibration. Now, even if you don't get a new PCB, let's just say for some reason, you just keep getting ribbon break air, ribbon break air, and it's not breaking. The, the mandrels are clicking in perfectly. It may be time to actually calibrate your motors. Or another sign to recalibrate your motors would be what I'll call slop in the ribbon uh, during operation. Specifically, like if you get start getting weird ribbon pull through errors, or if you get um, if you start noticing excess or or less tension in the ribbon. All right, then we move up a little bit. We also got inputs here, so you can have your encoder settings if you're running different encoders. Uh, we also have, you know, an output configurator. So here's where you would you would select the output configuration tab if you're looking to change your output type. So like maybe online, offline, when it's busy. And you can do a few different things here. And that's the gist of it. So remember, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can go on the website uh, anytime you want. We've got all our parts up there. If you don't see something, feel free, ask us for it. There may be a small possibility that I haven't had a chance to 
get it up on the site yet. You know how those things go. Get busy. Anyways, 813-235-2019. That's the main line. Uh, go ahead and email us, support at ttoparts.com. Ciao.